Hello guys, it's Ali and welcome to my channel today. So today's project, I'm going to do an inspired by project and it's inspired by a lady called Shanuki Art. I will leave a link in my description to her channel. I watch her all the time, I just love her grungy style, I like what she does. And she did a project just using some index cards. So I thought I've got plenty of these things in my stash, I'm going to do mine try and do it like a steampunky style to go into my uh, steampunk journal so I've got three I'm just going to do three because I wouldn't put any more than three into my journal so I've got three index cards I've got some other bits and pieces at the side of me and she started off by just using some sheet music I've just got this piece here it's only very thin um, I'm going to just rip tear some of this And she just put a piece of sheet music on each index card. Let's just get rid of that. I don't even know where this one's come from, if I'm honest. I just found it in my basket. I thought that'll do. Um, I'm going to just make that a little bit thinner. Yep. So that one will fit on there. And then this one, let's just make it a little bit thinner. Um, yeah, that'll be okay. Right, let's get rid of those little bits and pieces. I'm just going to use my glue stick just to glue this down because I'm going to be going over it with some um, gel medium in a bit. I'm just going to use my glue stick. I'm just going to stick these onto my index cards. And that one. And then this one. Right, okie doke. So there we go, that's stage one. Let me just trim that little bit off the back. Right, okay, so moving on, what she did next was she got, um, let me just wipe that, oh, do you know what? Just get the edge off there, that's it. She got a uh, pattern, you know, a sewing pattern, and she put some over each of her index cards. So let me just see how much I need. <laughs> Fingers and thumbs. Right, I'm just going to tear it. So there's one. That should be enough for one. Yep. And then another one. In fact, I think I could do with it a little bit bigger really because... What she did was she ruched it all up, screwed it all, like scrunched it up onto a. So I might just rip a bigger piece. Oh, Alison, what are you doing? Right, there's one. Let's just rip that. I've had, I've got quite a few of these things in my stash, and never got round to using them. So it's nice to get one out and. And use it actually, I've had them for ages and ages. Right, that should do. So what she did was she just put some glue on here. I've got my gel medium. So I'm just going to get a little brush. I'm just going to put some gel medium on my index card. And then she got a piece of the pattern and she put it on, but she just sort of scrunched it up like that. So we've got some creases in there, like so. And then she went over it again with a, I think she used Mod Podge, but I'm just using this gel medium because it's just what I've got. Leaving the creases in. Okay, so that is that one. Let's just make sure we're glued down the edges. So there's one. 
Let's do the other one. I don't know whether I've left this tissue paper big enough to be honest. I don't know whether I should have left it a bit a bit bigger to give me room to scrunch it up. We'll see. I've got some more if I need to get some more out. Right, let's put that piece down and then again just scrunching it up a little bit. I'm going over it again with my gel medium. All my stuff's arrived now to start my steam uh, steam perk, steampunk journal cover even. So I'll be starting that within the next, probably next week sometime now. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that on camera. <laughs> well, I'm going to have a go anyway. We'll see what it turns out like. Okay, I'm just going to put this piece down. And again, just scrunching it up. Oh, I've got a lovely quiet house I have at the moment. Girls are in school, hubby's out shopping. House is lovely and quiet. Yep. Right, so I'm just going to put that. I don't think I need, do I need my glue again? Um, let's just put it in there. Will it go in? Oh. Just so it doesn't all stiffen up. Right, okay. So I'm just going to bring in my heat gun and just dry off the glue. Hope it's plugged in. Yeah. Okay, so that's my index card dry. I'm just going to get some scissors and I'm just going to trim off from behind. Just get rid of all the excess. Now, I don't mind if there's bits coming up because I am going to stitch around these. So the stitching will catch it. I'm not going to put any more glue on, I don't think, unless it's a, it needs it. Okay, so there's one. Yeah, I'm going to stitch around them so the ends were sticking up a little bit. That's fine. I'm not bothered about that. got a file I should have used the file that I've got really I never thought about that right so there's the other one it's coming up a little bit in that corner there in fact I've ripped a little bit of that there but that's fine we don't need to worry about that let's just do this one I think I should have done my tissue papers a bit bigger I've missed the bottom of that one not to worry See if I can put some ink over it to hide it. Right, okay, let's just get rid of all these little scrappy pieces. So they are all my, well, I'm going to use them as journal cards. So I'm not, let's just put a little bit of glue under there because that's quite a big piece that's not stuck down. Come on, glue. There we go, that's better. Not trimmed that piece off properly. Right, so let's just pop this rubbish into the bin and then we can move on to the next step. Right, put my lid on there. Okay, so what she did next was she used a vintage photo, so I'm going to do the same. I was torn between gathered twigs and vintage photo. She just got a stamping block, if you just, or I can use my glass mat. I'm just going to put it on there and then I'm going to spritz it with some water. And then I'm just going to get my little paintbrush and I'm just going to put it to the side. Just like so. And some around this side. Okay, and then I'm just going to spritz my water. So it runs down the index card. I don't want to saturate it because they're not very thick. Just to put some colour on there, just like that. 
Can you see the colour just going in all the little creases? Just going to pop it in the middle. Yeah, I like that. I've got enough colour on there, I think, now. So there's one. Right, let's do this one. I'm going to go all the way round with mine. I could have just put some ink on the mat and rubbed them through, but I think I'll get a deeper colour if doing it this way. So I'm just going to spritz again. Just to let the ink roll. I'm just going to wipe that up and start it fresh. Just put some more, oops, more ink down. Spritz again. I want it quite dark. Just like so. Okay, and then let's do this one. This is a new Distress Ink, the Vintage Photo, so it's nice and juicy. I'm just going to spritz again and just move the ink. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that colour. That's really nice. Okay, so let's just get rid of that. And then I'm going to just dry off that first colour and then I, I'm going to put a little bit of black onto mine. She never did that, but with mine being a steampunk journal, I want to include some black as well. So I'm just going to dry this first layer off first. That layer dry. So I've just got this black uh, ink. In fact, I might be easier to spray a little bit on my... Spray a little bit of that. Let's add some water. And I'm just going to add a little bit of black to mine as well. Just a little bit. Just to try and steampunk it up a little bit, if you like. Let's just spray that. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that. Okay, and then the same with this one. I think I've sprayed a bit too much. I'll have to get something to mop that up with. Okay, I'm going to do the same again. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then the same with this. And obviously, if you're not making a steampunk journal, do these in whatever, you know, colours your journal is you're working on or whatever. I just thought, whilst I'm making something, I might as well do it for something that I might use you know in my journal right I'm happy with that with that bit of black on right I need something that'll do let's just mop up that black I do love black it's a colour I really like working with black to be honest right let's just get rid of all this stuff grab my bit. I'm going to get another piece of this kitchen towel. I'm just going to dab over. I'm going to put that in my water. Okay, I'm going to bring back in my heat gun and just dry off this black ink now. Okay, so there they are all grunged up right what I'm going to do next is I'm going to stitch around them but I'm just going to make some little clusters to go on the front first that's what Shiruki did now she used different stuff to me because she wasn't doing steampunk I've got a piece of black card so I'm just going to rip it I only want little clusters I'm going to rip three pieces and I'm just going to layer up some bits to go on the front of my journal cards so I'm going to put a piece of black card let's just move that I'm going to put some book page put a little piece of book page 
on each one. And then I'm going to put a little piece of this cheesecloth. This is coffee dyed or tea dyed, I can't remember. It's one or the other. Uh, where's my little fabric scissors gone? There they are. Let's just cut a little piece of this. And she's, I'm oh, sorry about that, that's my uh, tablet making that noise. Um, yeah, she stitched these on, so I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm just going to make them a bit smaller. A little piece on there. In fact, I think I'm going to put that down first. Then the book page. And the same with these two. Just put a little piece of this. Underneath, yeah, I like that, and then the same with this one. Is that big enough? Yeah, I'm going to put that down, and then I bought a download from Etsy, and it was just some little steampunk circles here so I'm going to embellish with them at the end, but I'm not going to put them on yet. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to ink around this. Paper. Where's my sponge thing? I'm sure I got it. Oh, it is hiding. I'm just going to ink around here, just grunge this up a little bit. The grungier, the better. In fact, I'm going to go all over it like so. And the same with these two. Right, so what I'm going to do now guys is I'm going to pause the video, I'm going to just bring in my sewing machine and I'm just going to sew these little clusters and I'm going to stitch around the edges of my journal cards. So let me just put them to one side for a minute. Oh in fact I've got some lace here as well, shall we put a bit of lace on? Um, let's have a look if I can stitch that on as well. Yeah, a bit there, a bit there, where's the other one, and a little bit there, that's if I can manage to stitch these, I shall try my best, right, so I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to just do my sewing and then I'll be back, for you it'll be a minute, for me it'll probably be half an hour. guys so I have very very messily I've stitched around the edges I've done a zigzag a straight a zigzag straight you know alternated the stitching there's my little clusters that I've stitched through very very scruffy stitching which is what I wanted I'm going to leave the cotton hanging on these ones I'm just going to trim it just a little bit because it's just a bit too long uh, but I'm going to leave some of it hanging on my journal cards right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just glue these on they still feel a little bit wet then I'm going to have to leave them to dry for a little bit right which way do I want them so I'm going to stick one down there I've got my fabric tack here I bit the bullet and bought one of these sugar bell icing bags it seems to be okay actually yeah so I'm going to stick that one just there. I like these actually. I've got the cotton at the top on that one. I'll put the cotton at the bottom on the other one. Where's that cotton gone? Right, let's put that down there. Just get this. Yeah, I think these look quite grungy and steampunky, don't they? Hopefully. Where's that cotton gone? It's stuck. I'm just going to stick that one down there. I love anything like this that looks really scruffy and grungy looking. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, is it? But I love it. I love anything like this. Yeah, quite impressed with this little bottle. We'll see how we get on with it. It's better than the actual fabric tap bottle. Oh, I couldn't cope with that. Right, I'm going to stick that there. Like that. So there we go. There's my little journal card. I'm now going to use these images that I bought. I did get three little words out as well, I've got them there. Uh, which one shall we have? Oh, sorry, I'm hoping this circle punch will punch them. 
Um, which one shall we go with? I think I like that one with the rose. Oh, let's punch them out and have a look, okay? There's one. If I don't use them on here, I'll use them on something else throughout my journal. Oh, I made up this little punch fix. I thought I was going to have to sit and cut them out by hand and I'm not very good with circles by hand, to be honest. I'm not the best at all. So I made up this little punch as come up trumps and we can use this. She says, just get that piece in. I can't. Oh, I should have left a bit more hanging while I cut it. I can't get the position this one properly. Oh, come on. There we go. Right, so which one shall we put on? Before I do anything else, I'm just going to bring in my ink pad and I'm just going to really grunge up around these edges. I'm just going to stick with the vintage photo. They are still wet around the edges, so I'm going to have to be careful not to do too much. Perhaps I should wait. Yeah, I'm going to wait till I go over them when they're dry because I don't want to rip all the... Uh, all the paper right I definitely want um, yeah we'll have that one I'm just going to get rid of the whites that one on there I'm just going to ink over that bit there get rid of that white um, don't want a gun what's that one we'll have that one On there, and then we'll have this one with the rose. Right, let's just pop that out of the way and let's put them over there. I'll put them in my little basket of steampunk things. Right, let's stick these down then. I'm going to stick them on with my fabric, three in one even, just to make sure they stick. I think I'm going to try and get my cover filmed over the next few days. I'm going to have to do it over two days for me because once I've used all the embellishments I'm putting on the front and used my gel medium, I'm going to have to leave it overnight for the gel medium to, to dry before I start painting it and whatnot. Okay, and this one, which way does that go? That way. I'm very pleased with these actually. I'm really pleased how grungy they look and I love that cotton hang, that thread hanging. Right, and to finish off, all she did was she put a little tab on and she used some book page to do it with. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, just gonna, I'm going to put a couple of pieces together because it's not very thick, this book page. I'm just going to ink around it. I was going to stitch it. Um, I might put a stitch down the middle, I think I will do. It won't take me a minute to do that. And the same with this one. In fact, I'm going to go all over it like I did with the other ones. And then we're all the same colour. And then we want another piece. Will that one be big enough? Okay, I think. Right, I think I'm going to try my best to see if I can just put a stitch. Should I or shouldn't I? No, I'm not. I'm just going to staple them on. I'm just going to put my little tabs at the top there. Now, where's a nice stapler? That's the question. Uh, what have I done with it? Oh dear me, I think one of the girls might have been in and took my staples. So what I'm going to do is look for my long arm one which is here. I've got it and we'll just stick them on. Oh, I'm stuck to something. It's 
stuff to cotton right so I'm just going to put a staple in there yeah so a little gold staple there and the same with this one and then I'm going to leave them to dry for a while I think I'll have to put two staples in this one because it's a bit bigger one two and then this one there we go guys so there we go then there's my little project for today like I said I will leave a link in my description to the lady I got my inspiration from I was dying to have a go at these when I seen them so they are my grungy journaling cards I'll zoom in a little bit if I can and you see there I'm happy with those they're right up my street all nice and grungy so as always guys thank you so much for stopping by to watch please consider coming along and subscribing if you've enjoyed watching and if you do don't forget to hit that little bell which will notify you when I upload any new videos so until next time guys take care bye